Now in this video, I'm going to discuss something about the regular expressions. Now the name itself, regular expressions, means the things which you use on the regular basis, the commands which we use on the regular basis, all the text sequences which you use on the regular basis, those particular commands or those particular files we can use by using the regular expressions now. Now the regular expression is just a string which can be used to describe several characters we have. So it can be anything, it can be your file content which you want sequentially into a particular output or you can you know modify the contents without modifying the input and you get the modified output. That also we can do by using this regular expressions. Now if I'm talking about this regular expressions, they are used in a different way by using different commands. So then some of the commands are listed like you use add, you use seed, you use awk commands, you use grab commands. So this commands which we are going to see later how to configure this particular commands or how to use this particular commands. So this commands can be used to modify your output without changing the input file. One of it we generally use that is your SID. So SID is called as a stream editor. You already have your std in file, you already have your std out file which we have already discussed into the standard files. So those particular files we are going to use while defining the output. So what we are going to do is, we are going to put the input or feed the input and which passes through or goes through to your std out file without changing your std in file. Means if suppose I have list of numbers starting from 1 to 10, but I just want to check the first 5 numbers or the numbers which are less than 5. So I can give a command, but just for looking the numbers which I have less than 5. So the command won't change the input file, the command won't change the original file, but only the output which I'll get that will be the 1 to 5 itself. So that is what the std or sed is going to use. So let us see how we can use this regular expression by using your sed into your terminal. So uh, set command as I said like you know we can also use this particular set command so that if I want to change the uh, no, output. So for example I'm going to create the um, file name with fruits and I'm going to add some fruits over here. Mango. I'm going to repeat it once more uh, once or twice as well. And um, again, uh, cherry, right? So I have added some of the fruits now. So now, for example, I don't want apple and I want to replace some other fruits in this particular name, that is this particular file. I do not want apple and I want to substitute something else in spite of apple. What I can do is I can use the substitution command. So how you generally use it. So we will be using set command, set and we need to define substitute. Now what you need to substitute and what word you want to replace. I want to replace apple with for example grapes and in which file you want to do it. Fruits dot, oh, sorry that is your fruits file. Okay just we need to define. So uh, what I can do is I can just use a single quote so that it accepts it and just a slash backslash and then close this quotes now it will accept the same so you can see the apple is replaced by the gates but it won't affect the original file again check it's not a uh, you know affecting any original file and you are getting you know the words you want to be replaced you can replace same way I can uh, you know create a file company one and I'm going to add this is a production company the production is based on software products right so uh, this is the you know uh, the text I have written here and I'm going to save the file and for example now I want to just change the production company to uh, we can say a deployment or development company 
So again, I can substitute in the same way. I can use a command set s slash and your uh, what you need to change that is production with the word called as development slash and then the file name. Enter. You can see it has been changed. The production has been changed with the development and the original file is as it is. Right, so it won't affect that far. Same way, we can also um, do it as per the you know uh, globally and generally it happens globally. All this particular file has been changed, all the name has been changed. Now we can also use the parameters that is G. That is, will do for it globally. Means into this file, the number of words I have for the development, I can change it. So this is what exactly how we can change, uh, you know, particular file, uh, particular letters or particular words with different words. So this is what exactly we have seen into this sit command. We have many more parameters of the sit commands, like sit is as very vast, you know, uh, the commands generally be uh, generally use. So you can also use this sit command, like where we can okay change the particular instance of a line as well. Like uh, we can say we have seen uh, we can change this particular line globally right now what if, if I want to if I do not want to change it globally so what I'll be doing is I'll be just changing the instance here like suppose I have um, you know the development regions over here and I want to change not the all but only on the third line or only on the second line so I can also define so it will change the uh, no, line into the second instance what generally we have. So the same way like uh, I can take an example. Now I'm just going to modify the file. And this is the company, the same company file I'm going to modify and I'm going to add a line. Uh, where I have repeated a same word. Production is very easy, we can see. Okay, so into one line I have added the production many times, right? And we can find that new one. Production is over here and production is over there. Same way if I use the set command which I have used earlier, not G, but uh, if I don't use this G that is globally. So it, what it will do, it will change the first instance, not the other instance, which appeared in the same line. So if we want to change a particular instance, like if I want to change a particular instance that is uh, development into the second instance only. So we can check into the second instance, uh, this production has been changed, but all the productions generally we have into the first instance is not being changed. So this is the way we can also, you know, use the... Um, a set command and whatever the changes I'm going to do here it is not going to make any changes into any of my original file that is company so for example if I want this output of this you know uh, changes and I want to keep it into the, my other company name by like company one or company two I can define it so you can check for both the files that is company one company one and you can also check the content of the company too. It will show you it has changed from production to development and this has still production. So I have just redirected by one file and into the other file. That's what we have seen. And so this is the set command. Same way we have many particular commands like your cut commands we have and um, there are many. Generally you can use for modifying and getting access to your particular part of your data from your system. So that is what exactly we have. So again, we can uh, use a particular command called as a compare command, or we can say we can uh, compare both two, two, two different files. So we can check out the difference between two files. Like uh, we have created both the files with the name company, right? So company one and company two. Now I want to check the differences between these particular files. So I can give the command diff company one and company two now uh, the lines which are 
same it will show you the same the lines which are different it will show you the different lines so as this is the company's file we have these are the three lines we have added and these are the compared two lines generally showing you so we can also use diff commands to compare uh, you know two different files over here so simultaneously as i told you there are many things generally we use into the you know linux operating systems where we do not affect your systems and uh, in daily uh, usage in uh, regular expressions we use it so you can find for it the man pages and really you can find more of the parameters of set and practice it so into our next video i'm going to explore more about the file systems of your linux operating system and how you create and manage your partitions so for that keep watching and uh, do practicing